Getting white balance right can be quite a tricky thing to do. Fortunately though, the EOS cameras provide seven presets plus an auto and a custom white balance setting. And it's this custom setting we're going to have a look at now. Now as photographers, we know that in some situations, the white balance can be really awkward. Take for example shooting in a church. You can have candlelight, tungsten light, fluorescent light, even daylight coming in through stained glass windows. And all of these are competing to try and change the colour of your whites. Custom white balance steps in here and will help achieve the best compromise for all those different lighting situations. To do a custom white balance, you need either a piece of white paper or card, or a piece of 18% grey card as I have here. 18% grey card may actually give you a more accurate white balance setting, and has the added advantage that you can use it to get the correct exposure as well. So, once you've got your card set up in the light in which you want to shoot, you can start taking your pictures. I've set my card up. I need to make sure that I fill either the centre spot metering circle, or ideally as much of the frame as possible, with the grey card take a picture, ensuring I get the right exposure, and then select that card on the camera. So I go to the red menu, choose custom white balance registration, and here I've got an option of one of five different custom white balance settings to store. So I'm going to choose option one, go to register image on card, and this allows me to choose the image that I've just taken. So I push the set button, it tells me that white balance has been obtained for that image, and now all I've got to do is select custom white balance number one, in the white balance menu. I can now shoot happy in the knowledge that my white balance is going to be accurate. The other way of taking an image would be to go to the custom white balance registration, select the one of five that you want to store in, and choose register and record an image. This will then give you the option to choose which one to store. You take a picture and it will obtain the white balance data for you. Once again, you need to set custom white balance in the white balance menu and you're ready to go. Now, for JPEG shooters, the advantage of setting custom white balance and getting it accurate at the time of shooting is clear. However, for RAW shooters, it's not quite so obvious. Clearly, you can process images back on the computer and ensure your white balance is accurate. However, if you're anything like me, you'd rather spend time out taking pictures with a camera than sitting behind a computer processing your images. And custom white balance will allow you to do this. The other advantage of custom white balance is that if the lighting is really tricky, getting it as accurate as you can at the time of shooting will ensure that when you come to process the images, you can make sure you get it exactly right.